ready? They ready? I'm just okay. Jim Stevens back with you here in the finals area for the open singles final. It's Tony Sprademan on the left. It's Yannick Correa on the right. Yannick out of Luxembourg. Of course, Tony Sprademan out of the United States of America. It's Tech Ball, which we're starting off here. This is Yannick Correa's home table against Tornado. We'll move over there for the second and fourth game if necessary. And Tony Sprademan, of course, coming off that huge victory over fellow countryman Ryan Moore. Yannick Correa defeated Germany's Christopher Marks in the semifinal to reach this open singles final. The world championship at stake, and there's Tony Sprademan stroking it home to that near side. It's 1-0. And Tony has proven throughout the weekend to be very good on the tech ball table. Of course, this is Yannick Correa's home table. He, too, is an outstanding tech ball player. And he finds that hole to the near side. It's 1-1. can hear the crowd. A few of his fellow countrymen cheering him on. We'll see if Tony's fellow Americans also get involved vocally. Pass attempt by Spraneman banks off that back wall. We're starting the match on the tech ball table. The idea here is, of course, put that white ball in the goal. And the idea, the techniques used to do that or passing from the five-man rod in the center of the table, your midfield, if you will, to the three rod, which is where you shoot the ball. And generally, you try to manipulate the ball back and forth to find the opening in the defender. Nice block using the left hand by Tony Sprademan. You'll watch the player's hands moving rod to rod, handle to handle, always knowing exactly where they need to be to set the men up defensively or to grab a ball as it's going down the table. Yannick Correa's shot attempt down the middle is blocked away. This one into the goal. So Yannick Correa from the goalie position. You'll see the forward position and the goalie position on the table. And that one came from the goalie position and scored for Correa. Tony Sprademan tried to pass it along that inside wall. Tony Sprademan, the world champion on Tornado. Yannick Correa, outstanding young player out of Luxembourg. A little bit of a surprise to reach this position. The open singles final here at the ITSF Table Soccer World Championships. But a very talented player who has been improving each and every year for the past few seasons. Tony Sprademan trying to pass the ball. I know he'll shoot it here with his left hand, but oftentimes he'll just try to pass the ball up the table, rod to rod, and Correa strokes it to the far side. It's 3-1. Yannick will set it up in that front pin position then look to the near side or the far side of the goal, whatever he thinks is going to be open. Tony Sprademan. An unfamiliar table for Tony, but he's played very well on it this weekend. There's a pass from his middle five-man rod to his three rod and he'll set it up in snake shot position you see him wrap his hand around the handle then push it to the far side or the near side on this occasion the far side that one was blocked up into the air and off the table and Correa able to fire that bank into the goal it's 4-1 so Yannick Correa coming out in this opening game on his home table as you need to do it's a two-table format Yannick Correa's home table is the tech ball. Tony Sprademan on the tornado, and we'll get a chance to see Tony over on his table in a moment here. But Yannick Correa with a great performance here in game number one, and he puts it away. Correa leads one game to nothing as we move as we move over to the tornado table. Robert Atha of Great Britain is the referee for this match. Tony Sprademan cannot wait to get onto that tornado table. And here we go. Sprademan goes into a tic-tac. And he'll try to pass it to the wall or right there through that lane. Tony now will set it up in snake shot position. We're back on Tony's home table, the tornado. Sprademan strokes it to the far side. It's 1-0. The World Championship at stake here in Nantes, France. You must put the ball into play in the midfield, right in the center of the table. Touch two men before advancing it. And a pass attempt by Correa is blocked away and stolen by America's Tony Spraderman. Tony trying to pass the ball five rod to three rod, and he does. Spraderman looking for a 2-0 lead here in game two. 
And he finds that hole down the middle of the goal. It's 2 nothing. When you have great ball control, you can find holes to the far side, to the near side, down the middle. You use fakes. That time, Tony Spradman was successful towards the middle of the goal. He leads 2 nothing. So both players playing very well on their home tables. That pass rattles through. A fortunate effort here. Yannick Correa from snake shot position had it blocked and taken away by Spradman. Tony, the best player in the world on the tornado table. Trying to be recognized as the best player in the world, period, if he can win here tonight, as is Yannick Correa of Luxembourg. World championship at stake. Spradman passing it through, setting it up, and stroking it home. It's 3 nothing. The idea is to win on your home table. It's the table you're most comfortable with. And then try to steal one on the opponent's table. Of course, in this kind of format, you play games to five. Each game is to five. One on your table, one on their table, another one on yours, then theirs. And if it goes to a fifth game, that fifth game is played on both tables, which makes it very interesting. Quick pull kick by Tony Sprademan after passing it through. Hit off the corner back into his own goal. It's 3-1. Insert replay. We go. Yannick Correa steps back to the table, calls time in. Tony Sprademan puts the ball into play. And Tony, that fast wall pass, he'll set it up looking for a 4 1 lead. And he does, stroking it to the near side, really getting that ball all the way out there to the corner. So Tony Sprademan has answered. Yannick Correa won 5 1 on the tech ball table. Tony Sprademan is up 4 1 on the tornado table. Pass attempt can't be completed. Correa loses the ball to the five rod of Tony Sprademan. Sprademan into that tic tac through the lane and slams it home. Very fast play by Tony Sprademan. It's one game apiece. We head back over to the tech ball table. Here we go. Game underway. Pass attempt. Pass attempt blocked away, grabbed by Yannick Correa. Correa, beautiful bank off that outside wall. He circled the ball, then slammed it off the outside wall. Gorgeous shot by Yannick Correa. Tony Sprademan. You see, he passes on the near side of the table on the tech ball. Lucky there, but he can't hold on to the ball. You can see both players dominant on their home table, which means this match will most likely go to a fifth and final game. And then it's anybody's game. Anybody can win in that fifth game. You must win by two. We'll talk about that a little later on when it does happen, if it happens. You never know. Right now it is 1-0 here in the third game in favor of Yanni Correa. Tony Sprademan. As it's stolen by Correa. Yannick slams this one home. It's 2-0. And you can see each player very confident on their home table and not so confident on the opponent's table. Sprademan able to grab it on his five rod. Tony brush pass, can't connect. And the jar called. Yep, yep. Jar called on Yannick Correa. The ball awarded to the three rod. You cannot slam the side of the table. If you do, you'll get the jar called and the ball will be awarded where the referee thinks you would have had it. In this case, on the three rod of Tony Sprademan and he is able to score it to make it 2-1. Correa along the wall. Yannick. 
Executes it beautifully to the near side. It's 3-1. Yannick Correa playing great foosball on the tech ball table. Tony sprayed him and slams it to the near side. It's 3-2. Tony sprayed him in one of the most intimidating players in the world. Very aggressive, very tough. And even on this unfamiliar table, he still has that feeling of intensity. And a chance to make it 3-3 here, and he does. So Tony sprayed him in two quick points. Feeling pretty good about things right now. Yannick Correa, not as much. Yannick able to pass it through, set it up, and call timeout. Yannick Correa puts the ball back into play, looking for a 4-3 lead. A big shot here. Correa. Strokes it to the far side. It's 4-3. And so far, Yannick Correa has not missed very often from his shooting rod. And stolen away by Yannick. Towards the goal. Correa now with a chance to take a two games to one lead. And he does. So Yannick Correa wins game one on Tech Ball, game three on Tech Ball. Tony Sprademan, of course, won his game on Tornado. And we head back over to the Tornado table. No time taken between games. It's 2-1. Tony Sprademan now back on his familiar Tornado table. He is the best in the world on this table. And he strokes to the far side. It's 1-0. Yeah. 1-0 lead for Sprademan. Yannick Correa, if he could win this game on the Tornado table, would be the world champion. Sprademan passes it through. Quick shot attempt. Blocked. Comes back to Correa. Of course, you saw... But Tony Sprademan in that last game hit some good shots, played pretty well before losing 5-3. to three. If this goes to a fifth game, you start off with two balls on the tech ball table, then two balls on Tornado, again two more on tech ball and two on Tornado. If it's tied at 4-4, you go one ball at a time back and forth between tables until someone wins by two. And it looks right now that we will indeed be going to that fifth game. It's 2-0 in favor of Sprademan. Tony grabs it on his passing rod. Looking to pass it from the five rod to the three rod. And he does along the wall, but he can't hold on to it. Correa's pass attempt rolls back to Sprademan. Tony for a 3-0 lead. And he strokes it to that near side. Uh, Tony Sprademan has jumped ahead 3 0 here on the tornado table. We're just a couple of balls away from that fifth game that we talked about, and this one blocks back into the goal. It's 4 0. And Gianni Correa puts the ball into play. Correa's pass attempt, and Tony Sprademan in possession of the ball. 4-0 here in the fourth game. Just about ready to head to that fifth game. Beautiful shot by Correa with a left hand. It's 4-1. Tony sprayed him. Hard along the wall. Brings it across. Sets it up. Quick shot attempt off the corner. Yannick Correa. Using the left hand all the way down the table where it's grabbed by Sprademan. Tony will pass it from his two rod in the goal area to his five rod in the midfield area. And he does. Now he'll move into the forward position using the left hand on the five row and pass it from the five to the three. And now he'll look to go from the three rod to the back of the goal and send this match to a fifth and final game, and he does. Tony Sprademan wins game four. Both players have held serve so far. As we move over to the fifth game on Tech Ball, it's two points on this table, then we'll head back over to Tornado. So 
So Yannick Correa will open up this fifth game on his table, the Tech Ball. Crowd getting involved. As Yannick Correa puts it into play. Passing along that near wall, then loses it to the fiber of Tony Sprademan. Again, it's the same thing, but you want to get both points on your table. If the opponent gets a point on your table, that makes it awfully difficult, potentially, because you then have to get one on his just to stay even. Very exciting format. Shot on goal, blocked by Sprademan. The ball comes all the way back down the table to Yannick Correa. Correa shot attempt, blocked back towards the goal. Yannick somehow kept it out of the goal. Correa has had some success banking the ball. He's looking at the bank here, but fires it straight on goal. Beautiful shot. Sprademan's left hand, and Tony picks it up on the three row, and he's been shooting the ball well on the tech ball. Looking for the first point of the fifth game, Tony Sprademan walks it around. And strokes it down the middle. Huge shot for Sprademan as he gets the first point on tech ball. Yannick Correa coming back. A must shot here. He must score this ball, if not now, some point because he's got to stay even, and he does. It's 1-1. Let's head over to Tornado. Tony Sprademan puts the ball into play. Tic-tac through the lane, grabs it on his three-row. Sprademan walks it around. Takes his time, shot it to the near side, blocked all the way back down the table by Correa. It's 2-1 in favor of Yannick, so he gets a point on Tornado. So Tony Sprademan got one on, on Tech Ball, and Yannick Correa scored one on the Tornado table. Huge ball here for Sprademan. Tony, fortunate to pick that one up off that back wall. He now sets it up in snake shot position. Sprademan walks it around. And strokes it to the far side. So it's 2-2. Let's move back over to the tech ball table. Very exciting match here on in the finals area once again. Back over to the tech ball table. Yannick Correa brushes the pass through that lane. Sets it up, looking for a 3-2 lead. And it's blocked by Sprademan, who hustles after the rebound. Sprademan's quick shot attempt comes back to Yannick Correa. Correa fires it to the far side. It's 3-2. What a great performance from Yannick Correa. Tony Sp Tony Sprademan using the near side, passes it through. A chance to tie it at three here. He'd love to steal one on the opponent's table if he can. So far, each player has done just that in each of the games so far, but this shot attempt blocked by Correa. Yannick banks it off the inside wall on goal. Somehow, Tony Sprademan made the block. What a play by Sprademan. Beautiful shot by Correa. A shot attempt up into the air and off the table. Yannick Correa puts the ball back into play. Shot down the middle, blocked by grab by Sprademan, keeps it out of the goal, stabs it forward, eventually grabs it on the five row. Tony, pass down the middle, he's able to retrieve it and set it up. Looking to tie it up at three, Tony Sprademan. Shot attempt blocked and taken away by Correa. Tony gets it back. Tony could really use one here. He doesn't want to fall behind 4-2 if he can help it, even though we would head back over to Tornado. That one bounces all the way down the table into the goal. It is world championship point for Luxembourg's Yannick Correa. We move back to Tornado, and Tony Sprademan must score both of these to send it into overtime and he loses the ball away. Shot down the middle on goal. Sprademan can't connect, it's grabbed by Correa. 
Yannick's pass attempt stolen away by Tony Spraydeman. Spraydeman sets it up. Looking to pull within one and 4-3 and he does. Stroking it to the far side. It's 4-3. It is world championship point for Yannick Correa. Anything can happen right here. The pass flocked away. It rolls and rolls and rolls to a dead stop. Or is it? Can he touch it? No. Okay, so Yannick Correa will put the ball back into play. Robert Atha, the referee, wanted to make sure that ball was dead on the table. Left hook on goal. Yannick Correa with a chance to win the world championship as he sets it up. Shot to the near side, blocked by Sprademan, but Tony can't hold on to the rebound. Again, Correa fires it into the goal. Yannick Correa of Luxembourg has defeated Tony Sprademan in the World Championship Singles Final. And a bit of an upset here, folks. Yannick Correa of Luxembourg is the world champion. So Luxembourg's Yannick Correa has won the world championship. An upset, folks. Not everyone saw this one coming. But the young man out of the very small country of Luxembourg will walk away and for one year at least be known as the ITSF World Singles Champion.